We have to rush to the hospital because the, the contractions were getting severe. My service has bulged. And I was like, how? Man here did not disappoint me at all. But then I felt the urge to be pushing. Midwife, God touched their heart. <laughs> I'll say it's God, though, because, hey, and she saw that the baby's head was there. She was like, hey, you guys bring that. What's up, crowns, and welcome back to another video for the channel, okay? Today, I'm going to be talking to you about my magical birth experience, okay? Right now, the lady you are seeing here, your girl, is a hot mom of two okay two 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 and we give god the glory this video is not to boast or anything but to thank god it's like my testimony okay so if this is like a video you're interested in please subscribe to the channel like this video even before you start watching comment share all the google stuff comment okay and let's get interactive and yeah let's get right into the video okay so um i gave birth to my first girl who is called michelle yes and uh, michelle Catherine was born in 2001 and here i am with another baby girl who is almost um four months now yes so um i want to take you through what happened during because michelle's own is on the channel i'll link it up here so you can go and watch yes yeah, so as i was saying um contractions started around 1 a.m and yes as you all know i was pregnant for nine months and thankfully in my 38 um week i was in labor the contraction started at 1 a.m thereabouts so i was just getting up to pee and all and coming to lie down quietly i didn't want to disturb my mom after that time i was with my mom so i didn't want to disturb her so i was on my own and when i was six i told my mom that we have to rush to the hospital because the, the contractions were getting severe which i was aware because i watched a couple of videos and i spoke to a couple of midwives as well and they let me know that second pregnancy because of the interval is going to be a bit intense but quicker so i was fingers crossed hoping for the best so i got to the hospital around almost 7 a.m the midwife told me to lie down and then to check how far I've gone. He checked and he told she told me that my service has bulged. And I was like, how? Because that thing I learned if you work too much during your labor is when you have those. But I was lying down all, all through when I was home. So he to, she told me, sorry, he had to um she had to bust my um water yes so i was like hey this is i was a bit skeptical about this because michelle's own even my first um pregnancy and delivery my water was not best so i was 10 cm exactly so uh, he she came and she was like eh, she had to so i was like well you know i was already in pain I thought it's their job, so they knew better. So I left everything to them and God up here, the man here. So the man here did not disappoint me at all. Mind you, when I got there uh, around seven, she should tell me the um, CM have even reached. She was like, no, she can't. And I was like, ah, why? And she was like, yeah, she doesn't want me to be worried and blah, blah, blah. So I told one nurse, who is Abigail, another subscriber, to please go and ask her why um, I want to know the CM has reached. Then she, told, she came back to tell me I'm two centimeters after she pressed my water. I was like, what? Two centimeters is 
Like, huh? God, when? <laughs> God, when? And so, um, she told me to not worry, to lie down. Oh, she, she, she was just an angel sent to me. And thankfully, she was on my ship that day. And how we met was the first day I went to the hospital for inquiry. She was the first person I spoke to. And she, the way she spoke to me and everything made me fall in love with the hospital. Because that was my first time living in that private hospital so <laughs> fast forward i was there for interaction my mother went to buy food porridge for me i drank i even vomited the whole thing um she went back they told me i have to eat so for energy well i know one thing is in my head i know that me giving birth on my own is god it's god who is going to help me so i was like my mom went to buy kinky, thinking that I'll, I'll be able to eat after one. The contractions that I was going to my sister, Esther Kukosda, Koku, or um, kinky contractions. So. so I told my mom that no, 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 I can't eat it. So she had to take it away. And um, she went. I told my mom to grab my back. She was like, well, she doesn't think, you know, this old wife tells that if she wraps uh, my back or something that means i'm rubbing the face of the baby or i might let blood uh, <laughs> cover the baby's eye but doctors say rubbing the back and massaging the back makes you relieve during labor so i was like ah. so she didn't and so i called this um I called this um, lady I was talking about, Abigail. Let, let me let me put my head. Let me put my hair in good shape before I continue. By the way, this is from Glossy, as usual. Uh, plaque. Okay, so <laughs> we she came in and she was helping me wrapping my bag, so I get relieved a bit. Now the contraction was intense. I couldn't do anything and mind you they broke my water so the water was all over my body my dress was soaked like I mean <laughs> uh god hmm. women eh? shout out to us okay so it's the worst pain ever and then I begged her that the rubbing is fine so I want to shower because I read that putting water on your body also makes you relieve during um labor and contractions okay so i told her and then there was a washroom close to our labor room so i went there she brought water poured on me helping me out held me brought me back to the labor ward so as i was there immediately i got there i felt the edge to be pushing like <laughs> someone would say <laughs> like the edge you feel to poop but I felt it in my abdomen, very strong. And so I told the nurse, the midwife that, please, I want to, like, ease myself. So I think this is the time. The baby, because they were like, oh, I mean, I came, when the time I came and it was two centimeters right now, it's, it's not anywhere. So one midwife, God touched her heart. <laughs> I would say it's God, though, because, hey, so she came and she took me to the she said, told me to go and lie down on the bed she held the, the same abigail held me the nurse to the bed she checked and she saw that the baby's head was there she was like hey you guys bring the <laughs> you guys bring the if the apparatus whatever for delivery now nah, she is due my god i was like thank god thank god thank god because that was what I was waiting for because from 1 a.m. to um, around 9, yeah, I gave birth at exactly 9.30 a.m. in the morning. If this is not God, if this is not God, tell me, then who? I'm waiting. Then who? So, yeah, she came and then they, they told me to be pushing, push, push. I should take my time when they told me to push, I should push. I was like, okay, 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 okay. My sisters and brothers in the Lord. <laughs> I'm not very active, though, but yeah. Do you know that 
I was able to deliver on my own, no epidural or whatever, because that thing is not even in Ghana. So forget. <laughs> Either this section or you go to the place and deliver yourself. And so I was like, okay, 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 okay. Um, she told me to push at that, the first push. She was like, the baby's head is here. Wow, you're doing a good job. Keep on. I was like, okay, okay, okay. I breathe in and then I push again because I read a lot about those things. Although I have delivered before, but that's my sister. After delivery, eh, that pain, God is so wonderful. You forgot it about it too. You will remember, I promise you. So I after the third push. And so if this is not magical, if this is not God's work, tell me. After the third push, the baby came out brah, just like that. And so I was like, oh God. Oh, I was lying down saying was thank God, thank you, 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 God. Because I knew this was God. Because a friend told me that after the uh, her water broke at home and she got to the hospital, she was induced. And that thing is like even three times your labor pain from what she told me. So I was like, no, no, no. I was just praying during labor that God, please don't let me get induced, don't let me get rushed because now the water, some of the water, and as I was contracting and everything, the water was just gushing out, gushing out. I remember <laughs> my husband called me and my mom, <laughs> uh, they gave the phone to me and I, I was talking to him and I thought he was like, I shouldn't worry, okay. He's praying with me. God is in control. My sister, my mind crowd wasn't there. Before I left the house to one <laughs> um father of mine here, special father of mine called me. She was like, he was like, because let me pray to my sister. What the what is, what was the prayer was even going on? My mind was not there. So it was God from day one of my pregnancy because we didn't even expect it to be this early but it was all god's plan trust me trust god my crowns trust god because this is a testimony some people may take it lightly but no i told god that if he is able to take me through this because the thing i was reading about second pregnancy my sister hey <laughs> in my mind i was like hey god the element is intense and i realized michelle's own cry wasn't easy the first pregnancy and labor but it was also god i shared it in my channel i'll put the link up here in the card so please go and watch that video it's almost one point something k because people loved it as my first time and so that is my magical birth story without epidural yes and epidural and so if this or you want me to do more story times concerning motherhood, childbirth, um, my own personal experience because that's why I created this channel. Please let me know in the comments below and I'll do that as well. So until next time is keep loving God and I'll see you guys in another one. Love you all. Peace.